So the last of today's flat races then is the longest one. It's a 10 furlong race for the older horses in the top one is Green Namix for C. DJ Liggett, then Class Touch for David Hooley, Lord North and Tail Chevalier for Craig Allen, Court Minstrel for Graham Clutterbuck, Givry Magique for Alex Cherry, Oakenshaw, Darren Thompson and Akane Byrne, and Jane Burden for Martin Leadham at the bottom then, so nine this time, ready to go on this final flat race of the day, and away they go, and Jane Burden was just about the quickest out, but a pretty level break, and now Tail Chevalier looks like he's going to go on from Oakenshaw, who's coming through for Darren Thompson, and Oakenshaw it is then, who looks to be the one that wants to lead, gets across to the rail, and leads by three quarters of a length to a hard-held Tail Chevalier in second, then Green Nomix and Givry Magique, with... Um, Akane Burn after that one, but they're pretty tightly grouped with the exception of the leader, Oakenshaw, who's opened up by two. Givry Magic is a clear second with Class Touch on its outside in the purple jacket, third. Then comes the green and yellow stripe uh, hoops off Tail Chevalier and Lord North racing together. The purple and white stripes is um, uh, Jane Burden, and the one on the rail in the green and blue is Green Namix. Court Minstrel, the one widest on the track. All oh, Graham Clutterbuck back in his normal colours, and the only one that's not got to mention there was Akane Burn in the red rum colours, moving into fourth place. So it's Oakenshaw who's in the lead then, and clear by four lengths as they make this turn. This long sweeping turn into the home straight at Foss Lass and Oakenshaw is in the lead by about two and a half lengths to Tail Chevalier who's second with Jane Burden on that one's inside Givry Magique on its outside that on the round Lord North is making a forward move then Green name exact came Burn under a bit of pressure Class Touch sitting quietly on that one and Court Minstrel still the back marker but Oakenshaw being scrubbed along in the lead as they race down towards the final three furlongs in and it's Oakenshaw who's still in front from Tail Chevalier Jane Burden Givry Magique and Lord North bit of a gap back Back to Akane Byrne who's trying to run on with Green Namix and Class Touch and Court Minstrel still at the back but it's Oakenshaw showing the way past the two pole it's still Oakenshaw but now Lord North throws down a big challenge Jane Burden's after that one and they've got to get to Oakenshaw still Oakenshaw's in the lead then but now being hard challenged by Lord North and stable, stable companion Tal Chevalier is in third point around the outside Class Touch is finishing well so too is Court Minstrel but it's Oakenshaw now being challenged by Lord North as they race into the final quarter furlong it's Oakenshaw and Lord North is going to be another head bomber Oakenshaw, Lord North, Tail Chevalier, it's close again. And I think Lord North may have got up to take it. And Craig Allen may well have been torn with everybody early on today because you think he's just taken three on the trot. And he's definitely got three in the well, two in the first three. And Lord North takes it by a short head for Craig Allen. Oakenshaw for Darren Thompson was second. Tail Chevalier for Craig Allen was third. Court Minstrel run on well for Graham Clitterbuck to be fourth. And Class Touch for David Hooley was fifth.